guys. I'm back with another one and today on the bench we have the Flywoo 230 6.5 6S motors. So um, let's see what's in the box. First what's unusual you have your wet wipes to clean the motors. Uh, when you're greeted with this you know you have something special inside the box. You have your accessories, your screws and your prop nut. You have the motor itself. So this is why you, you get the wipes to clean your golden and shiny motors. Uh, so to go over the motor it's uh, 1750 uh, uh, kV it uh, has open base it has slightly curved motor magnet ring it has the lip to prevent the motor uh, to prevent the magnets slipping uh, but <coughs> I never had the magnets uh, slip out of the mo out of the uh, motor. Uh, the only time I had the issue is with old Cobra motors back in the days. So yeah, um, if they are the same or manufactured by the same company like the Zings, and I'm pretty sure they are, because none other manufacturer has that curved curved motor, motor uh, magnet ring uh, and from the from the construction it's pretty much the the same components wires and, and everything so uh, if they are the same as the zings I'm pretty happy because the Zing motors are one of my favorite motors that I tried today. So, um, uh, I, I upgraded to Flywoo ones. First, of course, it's the looks of the motors. Uh, but next is the uh, slightly thicker uh, um, stator size. Um, the, don't get me wrong, the Zing motors had uh, plenty of power and everything, but I thought I would actually appreciate a little bit more power out of the motors, but with the increased um, stator size, I think they they done that in the flywheel motors. So uh, let's open the motor and check uh, what's inside. So uh, to take off the bell, first of all, you need to unscrew the screw that it's uh, going into the shaft and it's the same hex size as all your other screws on your on your quad or motors or quad in general so yeah um, when you look at the laminations they are pretty pretty uh, pretty thin lamination big big bearing, nice and tidy uh, wiring, but what's the special about the, the zinc motors and also the flywheel motors is the o-ring in the motor bell. So uh, the motor they say it's for uh, dampening, vibration dampening, but uh, what I find uh, it's useful for is when you're tightening your your shaft screw, you can tighten it pretty hard and the motor will still uh, spin very freely. Uh, in, that's not the case in the motors I used previously because when you tighten the screw, it's pretty hard to to spin the motor. So to take a look at the zinc motor and its bell, 
so yeah you can see they're pretty much the the same also they use the balance balance uh, glue on the upper side of the of their magnets not your usual usual blobs of uh, balancing glue on the bottom you can see it hopefully you can see it on the zings and also in flywheel motors so yeah uh, my conclusion is that they are pretty much the same uh, motors or man manufactured by the uh, same uh, manufacturer that's of course a good uh, thing because I'm as I said I'm pretty pretty uh, satisfied with this I'm going to be satisfied with the uh, flyable motors but let's do the fly test and go to the conclusion So, uh, after the flight test, uh, the conclusion is, yeah, they are thicker, uh, stator size brings more power to the motor and everything else is pretty much the same as the Zings, the efficiency is there, the smoothness is there, yeah, it's my new go-to motor, so be sure to check this motor out, it's really, really good, so yeah.